I'm meteorologist Carl Bonac. Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand for March 31st and April 1st. Officially on the last day of March for the second day in a row, the high was 47, the low 30. Put it all together, we're running well above average. We closed the month warm. Most of it was very, very cold though. It's been as cold as eight below. That was back in 1975. The reason for the warmth? Well, we were on the warm side of a storm system that moved out of the central plains up through Minnesota, heading toward western Lake Superior. On the cold side of it, big snowstorm with a blizzard in eastern North Dakota, heavy snow in northwest Minnesota, up into Ontario. But for us, not even all that much in the way of rain occurred. And uh, Tuesday morning, that low should be over the western portion of Lake Superior. The cold front extending from it will start to bow to the east. Out ahead of it, there still could be some showers. Behind it, in the colder air, some flurries or some snow showers may start to develop. Then for Wednesday, we're expecting this system to move off to the northeast and high pressure will build in from the west. That means sunshine. Uh, temperatures uh, will be seasonably chilly. Most areas in the 30s after lows in the teens. It could get up to around 40 in the far south central portion of the upper peninsula. We expect this high to be over us on uh, Wednesday with a new system off the Pacific coast moving into the inner mountain region. That system seems destined to head straight toward the upper Great Lakes by the end of the week. And this time, it looks like we will be on the cold side of it. So there could be significant snow, something to keep an eye on. Again, it may start as early as Thursday night over portions of the western UP. Then Friday, we could have the effects of this system until early Saturday across parts of the UP. Your TV six-day forecast. Temperatures will be... Uh, Cooling back, but nothing really cold Wednesday and Thursday. Then that system moves in Friday. Right now it looks like primarily snow could have some mixing, especially in the southeastern UP.